Yo, what's up guys? So if you're between the ages 16 and 25 and you're currently gaming and you're not very happy with where you are right now, this video is probably for you. Uh, I used to look like this and now I look like this. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I went from fat and unhappy to fit and in a better place. Basically where it all started was I was sitting at home all day making Counter-Strike videos, which is what you guys know me for. I don't make those videos anymore. I mean, I make a video here and there about Counter-Strike, but kind of grew out of the game a little bit. Talk more about that a little later. Anyway, I was sitting at home a lot, eating a lot of takeout, unhealthy stuff, and I was getting fat and I wasn't very happy with how I looked. I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'7", and at the time I was weighing about 120, 125 kilograms. So I decided to hit the gym because I wanted to make a change. I had no idea what I was doing in the gym, but that was no problem because I kept on going and I built the kind of like schedule of going there and some days I'd even be there for 10 minutes and leave. But eventually I started making friends there and started making friends with people that have similar interests of becoming a better person. So I kind of caught on on how to uh, do certain workouts and stuff because I wanted to improve and I was getting addicted to seeing these small results in my body. I started dropping weight, I started getting stronger, and that's really what I liked. It's like playing a video game, but you're leveling up yourself in the gym. Effort you put in is actually physical instead of, you know, leveling up or whatever, smithing to 100. The reason for me that I wanted to go to the gym was because I wasn't happy with what I looked like, and I had to be honest with myself. If you're in a place right now where you're happy with yourself and you're truthfully happy, then I'm happy for you and this video is probably not for you but if you're in a place and you would like to level up something like your body your your mental maybe you want to start getting a better dating life or have a girlfriend or make more money I don't know if I already said that but get better grades in school you name it there's a lot of things it just starts with you accepting that you're not happy with where you are because a lot of people are stagnating where they are because it is so easy to maintain nowadays like getting a job or making like fifteen hundred dollars a month isn't that hard and that's basically all you need to kind of maintain this life i advise you to start looking at things you might want to improve if you do have that drive within which is very important to have and i know a lot of young men out here you do have that drive you just don't know where to start and i've already walked the path and I'm doing a lot better than I did four years ago and I just want to share that story with you guys because I've been sharing my story on Instagram or on my other YouTube channel Matt Young uh, about my fitness progression or my mental health progression and just sharing this story and getting some feedback from you guys and you telling me that you've made significant changes in your life because I sparked you to get on nofap, go into the gym, eat healthier, those things like they get back to me and it truly is way more fulfilling than any amount of views I'll ever get on any video. There's these videos that I made that have over a million views. During the time I was the most unhappy with myself, but I was just maintaining on YouTube and making videos all day, getting clips, and honestly, I had a pretty good time doing this as like a business and it was kind of like maybe a, uh, a band-aid for not actually wanting to take the action to become the person that I truly wanna be. Now, I'm not saying that I'm unhappy with the videos that I made because it got me to where I am. And I feel like everything that always happens is the best thing that could ever happen. That's a very good rule to always tell yourself. But eventually, I broke out of it and I decided to make a change. And my interest changed. Um, I started gaming less, started going out more and work on myself, work on my mental health. I started doing this nofap stuff. I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel and I feel like it's so important to do in a day and age where um, online pornography is so, I don't know, it's so normal or whatever, but it is not good for your mental health. Um, it's, it's a big reason a lot of people are anxious and depressed and they don't, they're not just like, you're comfortable and shit. But that, that was just something for me that helped me get out of that zone and get that like, indescribable feeling i can only say like ah the, 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 ah, to to do shit and i don't know that this is just my story I, I started going to the gym started seeing slow results and if you've ever heard anything about fitness and working out you might know that working out is only like 20 percent of it all the, the the working out part is not the most important thing but being physically 
physically active is very important. I started seeing slow results in the gym, which got me going back. Eventually, I got into some workout programs, simple things such as the push pull legs it's just a very simple thing you do at the beginning and honestly it's one of the best workout splits you can do because you give yourself three different uh days for different muscle groups like push is your chest and your triceps and pull is your back and your biceps and then legs obviously is your legs then you take one day off and you repeat it then maybe on some days where you have some extra energy you do some ab work or you do some cardio or whatever and you kind of roll into that and start seeing the numbers go up if you keep track of whatever you're pushing or whatever you're doing it's very gratifying to see that slow change happen i've been through it all man i've started getting on a bulking diet completely failed and i got super fat again i decided to lose the weight then i got on a diet i lost a lot of weight then i looked shredded but it was small Currently, I'm very happy with my physique. I'm kind of hovering about like, I don't know, I have visible top abs, but I'm also not super thin or skinny. I'm strong. Yeah, this is something I share on my other channel, Matt Young. I have a fitness channel, some of you guys might not know, but yeah, I share some fitness stuff or vlogs on there. I just wanna have more of these videos where I just kind of like chill and talk with you guys about me and my progression in my life. Because I feel like this information, like it can help a lot of you because if I were to watch a YouTuber and he'd be like the older brother that I never had, I would, I would appreciate it a lot. And I don't have an older brother, but I look up to other YouTubers who do this kind of stuff and having them sometimes tell me, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Go get your ass in the gym, get your life in check. It helps me a lot. So if I can do that for you, that's just amazing. And I'm not saying like, I'm not pushing you to do this shit. I'm just saying, hey, maybe you should give it a shot because gaming is fun and I love gaming. I still play video games. I love playing Valorant, CSGO, Warzone. Um, I got a Nintendo 64 right there, I got uh, whatever bro, I got a Switch, I got all these things and I love playing it, but what I truly love doing is just progressing in real life because gaming, I probably don't play that many video games in 5 to 10 years from now if I'm real, but I do have my body and my mental health, my bodily health in hopefully 10, 15, 20, however many years I'm still here. So. Yeah, I want to make sure that that's in check and I don't want to die of some stupid health issue or whatever. And there's a stigma around gamers that we're lazy and fat. And let's face it, sometimes we do be enjoying the Doritos and the Mountain Dew. As fucking dumb as that may sound like, we neglect that shit. And I think it is so important to keep that in check and start taking care of yourself. Level up your life, become the person you want to be. And... Just be responsible for your actions. Something that I, that I helped me a lot is using the app called My Fitness Pal. What you do is you simply use your phone and you just scan the barcode on the food you're eating and it automatically fills in what you're eating. And that way you can kind of keep track of what you're eating and it tells you what's in it. So you can kind of figure out what's good for you or what's not. So I'll put this little plant here. I thought it was a little vibe thing. Hopefully I'm in focus, I don't know if I am or not. By the way, let me show you where I am right now. Let me show you where I'm sitting. Uh, I'm sitting in, in my kitchen, but I have a squat rack in my kitchen if you didn't. I have a little home gym here because during the lockdown and shit, I... Uh... So from that point on in the video, I kind of messed up the audio. It was like, and I didn't want to include that in this video. So here I am. What I talked about was that you should just try getting into the gym if you want to become more healthy and uh get your diet in check and if you guys want to see more videos regarding these topics like i can make a video more in depth about my diet and i'll obviously share that on my other channel as well but if if i can also do it on this channel i don't mind doing it because i can help a lot of you guys out with this so with that said see you and thank you uh for watching this video peace